if the ball is there and I step over the read line, she must basket cut. There's no decision making, there's no signals, no nothing. You go when you're one pass away from about one spot away from the ball, okay? So even while, just like she is now, she's stationary, she's here. If I do this, she's got to go, All right? If she's filling this spot and it's empty and I step over it, she's got to go, okay? So uh, 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 this first layer, I need you to look at, there's a lot in this first layer of pass and cut. It seems so simple, but it's like the circulation system for the human body. Everything kind of plays off of this. We learn our spacing and our movement, but uh, layer one's packed full of stuff. You, could you uh, do uh, your read line? We're pretending that there was a player in this spot, this black five. We're pretending that they've passed it here and they've cut like they're supposed to. That spot has to be filled up by this player, okay? So we've just taken this player out of the drill in order to get a lot of reps here, okay? Go ahead, Kevin. can't run this like a drill. You got to tell your players, this is not run up here to this spot and then cut back door. This is you cut when the defender's foot goes over this line. Now, if it goes over right here, then you've got to cut right there. If it goes over here when you get up there, that's when you cut, but you can't just run it like a rote drill. I mean, this is, this is the offense, okay? So you've got to have, this is why I explain to players, You've got to have your eyes on the ball. Of course, you've got to have your eyes on the ball. But you can have all of your awareness on your defender. You've got to, with your peripheral vision, you have all of your awareness on your defender. So, yeah, I'm not going to take my eyes off the ball as I'm filling up this spot, okay? Because if my defender stays inside the read line, come on, if I stay inside this, that means... The player's open. Throw the ball, okay? If I stay inside, uh, take a step off, like go to the black spot. There we go. One of the reasons we put the spots way back here is to keep the offense away from the read line. Think about this. If I'm here, I'm inside the read line, you're this far away, you're open. That's, that's the message we're trying to send. We're trying to make it very easy on this player to know when are you open and when you're not, okay? Now, if this player creeps in and plays close to the read line, and I'm inside the read line, we've trained her to throw the ball. If I steal it, guess whose turnover that should be? Not that player. It's this player's responsibility to play at the NBA three-point line. That's why we got these spots, you know? I tried everything. I tried getting a system that would shoot lights down on the floor. And it can be done, by the way. Do you know that? Like, you can even program it. Like, I was going to, I was going to get this thing created for you all. So, like, at halftime, you could advertise on the floor, and it would pay for itself, you know, Pepsi and Nike and that kind of thing, right? But then, if, and that way, even your PE departments could pay for it. Like, oh, you want a four-square court? Oh. Click a button, it shines on the floor, right? And it can be done. It's for a mere hundred thousand dollars per <laughs> per school. So so we went with the uh, three hundred dollar spots, okay? Yeah, you guys may have to stick the landing if someone's in your way. Yeah, very good, very good. I've got to be reading this defender, and the moment that foot goes over, I'm, I'm rear cutting. Stuff to explore here. We can't right now. Stuff to explore. Do you want this player to jump stop, turn, go? Do you want this player to plant 
foot parallel to the three-point line, push off. It's just stuff to explore. You, what, what about their hands? You know, you want them to swim? I don't know. Just thoughts for you to kind of tighten this up later on, okay? Phil? Oh, very good. Tomorrow, I'd run it with the head of the key as the empty spot. You know, a wing, empty spot, wing, they'd be filling there and going. I'd run this drill the other way. I'd let this player have the ball, fill this spot over the reed line, rear cut. And that way it keeps it fresh with them, okay? Thank you for watching. And if you like this drill, there's a lot more waiting for you. Just hit the subscribe button.